Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a quick look at the throwable system in Easy Template Kit RPG. So here we are back in our uh, standalone scene. The uh, reason I'm using this scene is because it's just quite simply easier to demonstrate how this works. No quest, everything is just uh, unlocked from the start. There we go. So um, the way I've set it up is you need to first unlock um, the throwing knives skill. I'll show you uh, how that's set up as well. Um, then you go to your bag um, and you add these throwing knives. So you can add them anyway, even if you don't have the skill unlocked, you just can't throw them if the skill is not unlocked. Um, and I'll explain in a bit how it works. So it's using inventory, of course, and there's a uh, instruction um, custom throwable instruction um, that actually uh, allows you to uh, throw objects. So um, created the animations and the state as well, so it actually looks nice. Now this one is using uh, something uh, <laughs> vastly exaggerated, which is uh, the um, <laughs> force <laughs> option, <laughs> which I'll explain in a bit. Um, and then this is just a regular destruction, and I'll explain all of it uh, in a bit. And yeah, basically, if uh, I uh, miss or I'm out of throwing knives, and this is the last one, it will automatically stop. Or if I just would have pressed one again. Um, now if I press one, nothing happens because I'm out of throwing knives. I, uh, I wasted them all. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have a quick look how it works. So um, the, um, let's go to inventory. So this is the throwing knife uh, inventory item. So um, it's all about the usage. So can use if we've unlocked the throwing knives skill. So if you don't want that requirement, just remove this and you're done. Um, this state is swimming, so we can't use it if we're swimming. Um, and then it's going to run these conditions. Now these conditions basically check um, if uh, throwing knives is on or uh, off. If it's, uh, if it's on, that means, uh, and the reason on or off is basically, uh, that's what happens when I press one again. Uh, so um, you can equip and unequip uh, throwing knives. That's kind of the idea. Um, we'll change the camera. Um, we'll um, sheet the um, main weapon of the player. So if the player has the weapon already equipped, we select throwing knives, he's going to sheath the, uh, the weapon and the shield or whatever he's carrying. Uh, we'll change the way the character moves. As you can see, he was suddenly strafing, which normally we don't. Um, we change the state, so different animations. Um, and then we'll attach the prefab in his hand. So he has a model in his hand, which is just a model, it's nothing else. Um, and then we instantiate the actual throw mechanic into the scene. Now the reason it's done this way is because um, we're using the same button as uh, as combat, so you know we we can't have both running at the same time. So that's why it's in, the trigger is instantiated only if we have the throwing knives equipped. So the way the uh, the trigger works is actually quite simple. We do a gesture. Um, we do uh, we remove the uh, the model from the hand when we uh, throw it, and then we have the custom instruction, which is handling almost the entire throw system. So you can select how far it throws it, the duration, uh, uses gravity, yes or no. So for magic attacks, for example, fireball will just go straight, so um, no gravity. Uh, the force at which he throws, if we use uh, gravity. Um, and then uh, from where we throw it. So I'm literally throwing it from the right hand. Uh, that's the whole point. So we're literally throwing it from the from the right hand. Um, and then it removes it and it runs the conditions to check again. Um, do we uh, do we have a um, so uh, these conditions? Do we still have a throwing knife? Yes or no? And that's that's everyone. Anyway. Um, then the throwable itself, so what we're actually throwing, um, it has the throwable script, which basically um, tell us, um, allows you to set 
what it collides with. So I've set it to only collide with the environment and enemies. So that means if you throw it on the water, it will actually go into the water. Um, the ID, which is basically um, knife. I don't know, explain why the ID is needed. So it, um, is it, you're basically saying what type of throwable it is. Um, and then, you know, on, when, it, uh, when it collides, it's just going to instantiate some embers, destroy itself, and, and that's it. And it has a rigid body, uh, of course, as well. Cool. So that's the throwable, and it needs to interact with something. So that's why we set that ID, um, which this hit script. Um, so because this has the tag environment, it will collide with this anyway. Uh, but then here, we can actually have it do something um, when it collides with the knife. So it collides with the knife and what it will do is it will set the health of this object because it has the stats module attached. It will set the health of this object to zero. You could also just subtract it if something is not supposed to break um, instantly, of course. Um, but yeah, if you have another throwable, which is, uh, I don't know, uh, fireball and then you need to set it into flames that's how you do it so you have it well do do other instructions whatever you want to set up basically um so yeah once health is zero that's when the destructible uh script kicks in so this is an additional script for destructibles can be com used completely for something else it does it's not literally related to the throwable system and um, they just work well together but you know this is unrelated so um, you select the uh, health attribute of your object. So again, that's the same one. That's why we set it to zero once a knife hits. Um, and then basically on zero, it will automatically destroy itself. Um, so uh, it does it with pre-fractured objects. So let me show you what that means. Um, these, um, this looks like a... a <laughs> complete uh, jug but it's not these are all pieces um, you can use with rigid bodies um, there's plenty of assets that can fracture stuff for you I'm pretty sure blender can do it as well uh, but I just use dino fracture or ray fire can't remember which one I used um, but you know there's so many uh, assets that allow you to do it but I'm pretty sure you can also just do it yourself in blender so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much uh, it so um, when the object destroys, it's going to turn this one off and this one on. And because this has rigid bodies, each piece, it will break, basically. Um, giving you the illusion that you're actually breaking this model, while in reality you're not. Now, pre-fractured has a lot of advantages. Um, one, performance, huge advantage. But they're still all uh, little physics pieces, of course. So, um, I have a, a cleanup option. Um, uh, which uh, basically runs after this so it will you can set how long it will take before it starts running and then it will shrink the pieces and destroy them uh, and this is all for performance of course because otherwise if you don't have anything that cleans up um, you know cleans up these uh, these pieces um, yeah it can become quite messy you'll have physics pieces everywhere and they can really impact performance so that's why they clean up um, you can add some uh, sound effects as well. I didn't actually add that VFX um, as examples, but I wanted to give you the option in the script so you can add your own. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now on this one, if you notice when I broke this one, the pieces just blew up and flew everywhere. Um, that's because I uh, had some fun adding force magnitude to it. So you can actually apply a force destruction to something. So if it needs to explode, um, that's why the pieces just flew everywhere. Um, adding a little force actually is not a bad thing. So um, if you, s with the other ones, there's no force applied at all. So if you apply like a tiny bit of force, um, maybe two, let's try that. Um, it might actually look a bit more natural than the pieces just falling down perfectly. Well, not perfectly because it's still physics based, but um, let's have a quick look. So uh, skills. There we go. Oh yeah, this is what I meant by the way. So if I click now, one, it will sheet first. Um, so yeah, it looks nice. So as you can see, if I, you know, they fall quite perfectly down. 
Um, same with uh, this one as well. Uh, really sensitive mouse. Um, now the one next to it, I added two fours. So it looks a bit nicer actually. It doesn't just fall down, it really properly breaks. Um, so yeah, that's the nice thing with force. Of course, if you have like exploding barrels or things like that, add quite a bit of force. Um, some nice uh, sound effects and VFX for fire or explosion or whatever. So yeah, this you can use this for anything, the destructible uh, script. Um, it's completely unrelated to the uh, throwable system, to be honest. Because all the throwable system does is just set the health of this object to zero. You can use this for melee uh, as well or for your own stuff. So yeah, it's it's not related to the throwable system. But I uh, decided to show it in the same video um, as all of the examples are, uh, are using both at the same time. So yeah, that's it for throwables and uh, destructibles. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.